All right. Well, uh, Glimo has asked for Ludeman to join us today for the first part. I have no idea why Ludeman's here. Sounds like Ludeman doesn't know why he's here either. So take <laughs> it away, uh, Hunter McGregor. Okay. So uh, I feel like uh, Hunter meets... Uh, Ask ask Hillbilly for a meeting, and so we you know meet at the little little conference room at in the stables. Okay. And, yeah, I show uh, up with a box of donuts. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> uh, so Hunter brings coffee, and you know we're we're in good shape. Hunter just you know sits down and says, uh, "Hillbilly, you're uh, you're still running the stable at, at least for another week." Yeah, yeah, so far anyway. <laughs> and uh, after everything we've been through, I trust you. I found I out some that. things that you need to know. Hmm. About the curse. And it's about one of our own. Well. So, using the info that you and Kyle provided me, I tracked down the group who is behind it. Okay. It's, it's the Bartoli mob. Hmm. That's not the crazy part. While I was tailing them, I found out that one of us got there first. I saw Amos talking with them at a Russian pierogi stand. What? I got the hell out of there before I was spotted. I, I, I wasn't sure what to think at this point. I mean, was Amos just waving us off during the gladiator hall because he was doing his own research? Was, yeah. he, was he trying to make a deal on our behalf? I, I, did, I had no idea. So I started watching Amos. After his loss to Texas Red, Amos lured Red up to the top of a construction site and killed him. Tossed his body off. Well, I, shit, Hunter. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to do. I mean, are we in danger? Like, I, I have no idea what to do about this <laughs> yeah, situation. Yeah, we, we I, got ourselves a whole crock of pickles right here. Uh, I think Amos has, has shown he's uh, more than willing to do people harm uh just in in general i mean this is yeah. the second second body i mean don't get me wrong i've killed a few people myself but always in a mech yeah in a mech and self-defense are one thing but what you just described is something else entirely i don't i don't know how we're supposed to move on from this one man that's gonna be rough well, I think two things come to mind for me. First off, if he works for him, if he's that affiliated with him, do we think that they're that big a threat to us right now? Do you think they're going to be, you know, are we in Amos's way? That's the thing. I'm in, I'm in his division. I, I might be in his way. I, I, I don't know. I don't know who we can trust at this point. Yeah. I don't know if this is just all about the game or if there's some bigger play here. Yeah, I think we're going to need to right. watch this one closely. Right now, I trust myself and I trust you. All right. I appreciate that. Do you I, think we I, can... I've got good feelings about Cosmo because I always trust a mech tech, just how I was, I, I was brought up. That's just what I was going to ask is, where do you think we should go with this? Do you think we should raise this over to Cosmo and Kyle and, and Seth? You know, I think Seth might try to duel the guy off the bat, but I'm not really sure how that works out. Oh, this is a rough one. Well, you know, I got a question for you and uh, maybe a bit of advice. I don't know. You told us once that uh, Fritz Jaeger was dead and gone and Hunter McGregor was here to stay. And the Highlanders now you've got... Corporal Fritz Jaeger, and he's legit, and he's on the lists. Is this a moment where, you know, their their opinion on organized crime has got to be a little different than you know, just a a gladiator stable? So I, you've got an association there that you got to think about as well. If this comes out that Amos is involved in something like this, I don't know what kind of blowback comes back on us. We got to handle this carefully. You got to handle this carefully as well. I hadn't even thought about that. I just got my official heritage back. I certainly yeah. am not looking to lose it again. Exactly. 
Exactly. We want to step gingerly. Uh, what I can tell you is that I, I have a ace up my sleeve. If things with Amos go a little too far, I have been approached by somebody who is directly opposed to the Bertolis. And I haven't brought this up with the rest of the folks, but I'm going to tell you this one. Have you heard of the Tong? Aren't they the ones who were, uh, who jumped to Amos? You know, they might just be, they might just be. They also approached me after I myself had been approached by the Bertoli and offered me essentially their counter offer. I, I don't know it, what it entails or what favors I owe them or they owe me or, or what at this point, it is just a business card and a name. But what I can tell you is that we have an Avenue if we need to make some sort of action happen. Interesting. Well, I'd say we just keep one eye open for a while. All right. All Maybe right. Uh, if, if you think we can trust some of the others, maybe we slowly bring them in one at a time, see what they have to say. And then we can, uh, we can all approach, uh, approach Amos together once we know a little bit more and can present a more united front. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's, that's the play we've got to have here. I don't know if you want to go the, uh, the Highlanders route as well. You know, I, I have a feeling they would have some connections with authority figures if we need some help as far as that goes. But Again, I, would, I, I know I you're on. Um... Let's keep that. <laughs> let's 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 keep that in the tong as dry powder. If we like can, it. if we can handle this inside the stable first, I'd I'd rather keep this from coming out. I also worry that if we bring in the tong, it's like bringing in the cats to take the rats, and then you got to bring in the snakes. And that's exactly why I've avoided it. Uh, I'm hesitating for that exact reason. Well, yeah. All right. I like this. We, thank you for the information. I will certainly be keeping an eye out on my end. Uh, well, you got one other Avenue you can go to for information. We know that there's somebody in the stable who's been keeping an eye on everybody. If you want to go <laughs> and uh, have a chat with Roe, he may at least have some other leads to follow down or evidence to acquire. Although I don't know how much you want to reveal to him. I do. <laughs> I don't necessarily, I don't trust new people at this point. Uh, yeah. Any of the interns. Keep those cards close to your chest. Mind. Okay. Um, and well, also I feel like any of the clans are not exactly going to be uh, forthright and open with me given some of my uh, more incendiary statements lately. That's also something you might be wanting to think I'm, about with I'm this gonna, uh, I'm gonna leave new that life. One to uh, <laughs> perhaps you or someone else to uh, to go down if if you feel that we can trust him. But frankly, I don't I don't know who to trust, and I'm I'm very skittish of new people right now. Yeah. Well, what I can tell you is I don't think Seth would be associating with that type of organization. He might find that beneath him, but you know, I don't know. So let's keep this uh, between you and I for now. All right. Thank you, Hillbilly. Thank you. Ludeman, you were wondering when would be a good time for you to go off the call. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I felt like it would be really obvious. It feels obvious. All right. Thanks I'll for catch joining you later. us. <laughs> Thank you, Ludman. No problem. Incredible. All right. What else do you want to do, Hunter McGregor? Uh, Hunter would like to go see Elizabeth. All right. Elizabeth has taken a shower, has a fresh set of clothes, and has slept at some point in the last 24 hours. That's amazing. Yeah, she's even taken the time to put some makeup on, and she doesn't look like she's going to kill anybody, although there are six empty pizza boxes in the corner of her office. Hunter pointedly does not look at the pizza boxes. Okay. She glances up from her work, takes a deep breath, and says, 
Hunter. Elizabeth, I know I've added to your stress a lot, and I'm sorry for that. But I want you to know the mess with the Highlanders is done. We've settled it privately. They won't dispute my heritage anymore. Okay. I'll also cool it on the controversial statements for a while. Really? I, appre I appreciate everything you do for us, and I'm sorry if I've made your job more difficult lately. I, I really appreciate that, Hunter, and I look forward to seeing you do better. Thank you. Is there anything the stable can do to help you in some way? Right now, I just want to focus on my matches. Okay. You should know that you can push your camera to the to your left, by the way. I know, we, we always do this, but yeah, I just want to help center you. Is push. that? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Perfect. There's a lot going on over your right shoulder, so I'm trying to keep you centered. I appreciate it. Uh, uh, I would... I would also like to meet our new promoter. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Let me let me go get this information real quick. I, that can be after match if if you don't have it. No, no. I ha okay. I have it. I just need a minute. Uh, cause I don't think that we've talked to this person yet. No one has asked about her yet. Uh. You know, I thought I wrote her information down somewhere, but now I can't find it. I, you know, I'm finding everyone's uh, Chris spicy crab cake eating results, but finding the information. <laughs> All right, I'm going straight to the source because I know who's got it. Getting it right from the horse's mouth here. All right. Her name is Zuri Carlson. Uh, okay, she's got uh, dark skin, um, uh, uh, you know, and uh, she's four foot nine, so she's extremely short. Her hair is uh, white and shaved on the sides, and then the top has been put up into a very complicated Solarisian hairdo. That okay. you know, and the rest of the inner sphere would be like, "What is happening there?" And on Solaris, it's like, "Oh, that's pretty good." Okay. Uh, yeah, she looks up at you, and you detect a slight Russian accent coming from her, and she says, Ah, yes, Mr. Hunter McGregor. How are you? Zuri, it's uh, very nice to meet you. It is very nice to meet you as well. I have followed your matches for some time, and I am extremely pleased to be working here with you. Well, thank you. I uh, am am pleased to be uh, continuing to compete. Um, I know it wasn't really for the rankings, but you know, had a very personally successful match uh, a couple While of weeks ago. While you're talking, ago. You sit sit down, sit down, sit down. You're making me uncomfortable. You know. Okay. Hunter, Hunter takes a seat. Okay. Keep talking now. Uh, you know, had a very uh, personally successful match uh, a couple of weeks ago, and am looking forward to uh, what happens in the in the arena this week. All right. So she she uh, looks next to her desk and says, uh, "What do you like to drink? Uh, scotch, perhaps?" Yeah, all, all whiskey is right. always good. You hear the opening of some sort of freezer or cooler built into her desk open, and she pulls out a, a chilled bottle of scotch and two frosted glasses and says, good, good, here, here, here. Let's talk about promoting you. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm looking for, for any help that I can get. Win. Okay. I'm, I'm not just talking win. You need to win the right matches. You win a lot of matches, and you lose the ones that matter. I'm sure you already know this. You know, I did an internship with Mech Talk, and I'm arranging to have them start doing a piece on you, okay? You understand? Mech Talk. That's the number one Solaris show in the inner sphere. It's no Solaris Nights. You know what I'm saying? It's a step above. It's the number one. 
So what we need is everyone talking about Hunter McGregor. I've already put all the pieces in place. You need to win. You need to win this match. You need to win your next match. And you need to win a ranking battle. I'm going to get you up against a tough, high-ranking opponent as high as I can get. And we are going to put you on the map. Excellent. So she slides a glass over to you and says, Do you need any help? winning i've been considering a change oh i've been thinking about class six. Oh, really she swirls her glass around says are you sure you're ready for that you'll have to start all the way at the bottom which is nothing new for you but you have to consider that the mech warriors there are really really good you don't strap yourself into a light mech to face down assault mechs unless you're very confident in your abilities the one thing that i'll say is i love my highlander i love the the tsm i it was phenomenal to see what it could do in one-on-one -on -one brawling against another highlander like kicks that can take all of the armor off an assault mech's leg that's just insanity and i never get the chance to do it let me hit you assaults. with something alternate hunter let me get you with something alternate as she you know takes a, a large amount of scotch in her glass and then goes ah, ah. okay let me hit you with this brawling leak you don't need to advance through the rankings as quickly if you hit up some of the alternative league spots stuff that exists outside of the class rankings i can find you some opponents that will do weapons dead matches with you now look it won't matter for the official rankings as much but you build your fan base you get a bunch of money out of it you start winning league titles you take it back to your class Maybe you start getting better matches very quickly. And more importantly, we keep you happy, which is what I'm here to do. Sounds very interesting. Right, look, I was thinking of offering Team Minxful a, uh, a league match between uh, the two stables. I know it's been rough times lately, but uh, I'm hoping that if everybody keeps cool for a little while we can uh, we can get something together maybe repair the relationship you know that's the thing about relationships sometimes you cheat on each other sometimes you have rough patches but as long as you prove that you're willing to stick it out you know that you're in for the long haul so that's what we need with team Minxel, and we can start by doing it by putting you in a league match with one of them you know we get you into some brawling stuff you know outside of the normal Solaris structure, but still endorsed by the Solaris Civic Council. People who like that kind of stuff, you know, people who like specializing in matches with big, big punching, they start to become your fans. You get a bigger following. You go back to class five as a regular rank, okay? And at that point, you got a bigger fan base, more people recognize you, and you're, you're still happy. Works for me. Now look, I don't want to talk you out of going to Class 6, if that is what you want. I think that's what I want eventually, but I like your plan to get the more experience, to uh, build, build, build something that, uh, that really works. Now, let me tell you this. If you can reach the top 20 of, of your rank, you will be invited to the Solaris Grand Tournament. All the class sixers are in, the top 20 of the other classes get invited, those that are in mechs, you know. And uh, yeah, at that point, you'll be proving yourself against the best of the Intersphere. You do very well in that. When you make a move to class six, you might not start at the bottom. Who knows? Hunter McGregor, Solaris Grand Champion, could be in the cards in just a few years. If you play them right. I look forward to you coaching me. 
Oh, Hunter, I like you. You don't need my coaching. You have such a rich persona that you sell to people. You are an excellent liar, and I really appreciate that about you. <laughs> Hunter just starts laughing hysterically. <laughs> and you know, the thing about me, Hunter, is that uh, I have friends. I have a lot of friends. And, uh, you know, the thing about friends is... Uh, you're Very, always together. Jerry, in the long a wise term. man once told me, it's not a lie if you believe it. No, 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 no. And now I have the Northwind Highlanders saying it's not a lie. Listen, Hunter. Here's the thing. I want us to be friends. You and me. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't be. That's good. That's good. That's good. You have friends. I have friends. We all have friends. Let's just keep that in mind for the future. That in the long term, it is about being friends. It is about forgiving the small petty things. Okay? Okay. All right. She slides the bottle of scotch across the table. Well, go ahead. Take it with you. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, Glengarry. Sorry, I was uh, wondering, since I'm I'm here, if you can uh, help me find some things out about my next opponent. Oh, yes, of course. I know exactly who he is. Go ahead and make your roll. Oh, boxcars! Yeah, okay. You get uh, two questions. Your opponent's name is... Sir Marco Saint Rossi. Okay. Uh, favorite mech? His favorite mech is a Zeus 9S2. So I'm just going to go ahead and reveal it to you. Okay. Uh, I'll show it to the audience real quick. So it's a. Uh, it's a little Assault scary. mech, little light on armor, but it's got an ER large laser, a Gauss rifle, and two LRM 15s, uh, with a pretty good amount of ammo for those, so it's meant to last for a longer term battle. Does he have. But no case. No case. Oh, wait, no, it does there, have case. There is case, case in, in the, the place that matters. You don't need case in the arm for the Gauss rifle ammo because you don't have to worry about that. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, Where did you kill another one? <laughs> uh, Hunter's getting a reputation, so... Uh, uh, and... How is this vulnerable? So, Sir Marco San Rossi is a landed knight of the Isle of Skye in the Leonard Commonwealth, and he is a member of an organization called the One Star Faith, and uh, those who have either questioned his knighthood or questioned his religion have both deeply upset him uh, to the point that it affects his battlefield performance. What also, do I know about the One Star Faith? Anything? It's a great question. Why don't you make a research role? <sighs> You're researching an organization, Hunter McGregor. Come on, surely you can pull out another big one like this. Uh, that's uh, 6 plus 1 is 7. Okay. I believe that gives you some options here. Uh, I guess what should I be on the lookout for? Okay, Would so you gain question. one point of stress, by the way. Yes, that'll bring me to four stress. What should you be on the lookout for? All right, so the thing about this guy is... He's he's kind of on his way of like always remaining at the same rank for year after year after year. And he has a following of people that are deeply encouraged by him. And over the last year of switching to the Zeus, you know, there are people who like this particular model. So he's actually gathering quite a, I wouldn't say it's a cult, but like a following of people who who believe in him. They believe in his 
way of treating battle mechs as if they are a combination. Uh, sorry, of... this was about the one the one star yeah. phase. Oh, sorry. Yes, it's about the one star phase. My bad. My bad. Sorry. What was the question again? Uh. Oh man, I went completely sideways on that. I apologize. <laughs> um, it, it, what should I be on the lookout for? Oh. I, got, I, I, I know nothing about this. Okay, so the one so, star faith, but... what you should be on the lookout for is that they have a metric fuck ton of lawyers, like a huge percent, way more than any other religion has. A huge percentage of their fellowship are lawyers, specifically immigration lawyers. They are quite litigious. Um, and... Their followers are known to get violent. Um, and with that, do I like get any like general sense about like what the religion is? You know what? I'll give you a little overview on it. Okay, so this dude was basically smoking some sick drugs at the edge of the periphery and was like, holy shit, I just saw... General Alexander Kerensky and his ships of the Exodus over a star. And everyone's like, you're full of shit, man. And then some people were like, whoa, wait a second. What if Kerensky was going to paradise? And the dude's like, yeah, man, Kerensky's going to lead us to paradise, bro. Follow me and I'll take you there. So they start going to planets and being like, all right, we're going to use the vision that you've had to track paradise. And, uh, yeah, like, they just kept planet hopping. They would go on years-long campaigns to get enough money to move their whole faith to different areas, including, at one point, into a pirate kingdom. They had to pay millions and millions of sea bills in order to assure safe passage there. Um, since then, most of the followership has fallen, because of where they were located, they've fallen into clan territory. Uh, and so, you know, clans and religion, not so good together. However, the clans are like, oh... So you like General Kerensky because we like General Kerensky. So there's this weird indoctrination that they're performing within clan space. So now there's two different brands of the same fringe religion <laughs> across the inner sphere of the inner sphere branch of the One Star and the clan branch. But all of them believe that one day they will be led to paradise by following a spiritual guidance by General Alexander Kerensky to the, f the, the ending point of humanity. A pure, wholesome, excellent world. Okay. In clan space, they believe that the clan's warships will protect the pilgrims as they travel. Okay. Yeah. So we'll one star faith. So uh, overall, it is a it is a combination of Mormonism and uh, extreme puritanicalism. Okay. Any other questions, comments, concerns, and what's your stress at? Uh, I know I'm for stress. So I will be going into this with Phantom Meat. That's rough. But good news, your salary and the rest of the stable salary was paid for. And your salary for this month was also already paid for. Excellent. And my mech and self mech was repaired. repaired. Yeah. Uh, you have a fan. Always good to have fans. I appreciate my investors. And all they do for us. Yeah. Uh, Who are you okay. trying to convince me? Um. Nope. Okay. Uh, so I will be. I have to drop one of my two SPA. So I will. Uh, I will drop human TRO. Okay. Anything else you want to do? Uh, that is it for my pre-match activities. All right. So you're sitting down with William and, uh, he goes, welcome back to Solaris Knights. I am William Windham Williamson III, and I'm sitting down with Hunter McGregor of the Northwind Highlanders and of the stable Apex Dragons. Hunter, how are you? I know that things got a little out of control. And I just wanted to make sure that you're all right. 
I I appreciate that, William. Uh, I've I've grieved in my own way. Uh, my adoptive uncle and I had our differences. I didn't want it to end that way, but a wise friend said that that was the way he wanted to go out. So I have to take some solace in that. What it, what is your, you know, lately there's been so much happening with your stable, but let me, let me just ask, how have you been doing overall on Solaris? I suppose I should start doing my job again at some point. How are you doing on Solaris? You have had quite a ride. I wouldn't say up the, uh, the rankings. Certainly other members of your stable have risen somewhat more quickly than you, but few have had your kind of explosive splash onto Solaris. How do you feel, looking back at your career so far, that you are doing? It's been more fun than I could have dreamed, William. Uh, from my my days as a mech tech and learning learning mechs on Northwind, I never thought that I would get to see the the bright lights of Solaris and and fight so so many crazy battles here in in this arena i've really enjoyed myself i've fought some really tough opponents who uh schooled me quite a bit uh i will say i i don't know that i was quite ready for the the extreme level of violence that can happen uh, inside a gladiatorial match. I, I will admit, you know, growing up, you always think some some of these things are more scripted than they are. Uh, it's it's a it's a new surprise every time I I I walk out here, and I'm just happy for the privilege. Interesting, interesting. Well, I'm glad to hear that you don't believe that it's scripted because it's not. No, definitely not. So, what do you think about your match today and your opponent? I'm uh, looking forward to getting getting on the field. Uh, the Zeus has some some firepower. Uh, obviously, I'm a little a little gun shy about uh, Goss rifles at this point, but. Uh, I'm I'm going to uh I'm going to enjoy myself. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Any statements you'd like to make? Uh no, I'm I'm just looking forward to the match. Actually, I I've got one out of game or what what out of one mechanics question. So, my hotel Will my hotel ablate the stress from that research role? Nope. It will only ablate things that happen during this interview and during the battle. Ah. Uh, okay. And by this interview, it specifically only is guarantee victory. Okay. So it, it, hotels and penthouses are meant to ablate battlefield stress. Mm. Okay. Look, that was the change. You, no, know, I, you guys no longer take like five points of stress for meat. So. I I had just in my head been calculating differently. Okay. Um, okay. Well, uh, then in that case, uh, yes, William, I I uh, I've got a good feeling about today. I uh, I'm going to. I don't take I don't take any more meat damage between four and five, correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Uh, I I'm I'm feeling good about today. I'm going to guarantee victory. Really? Yes. Okay. So your hotel will ablate that point of stress. Okay. Do you want to uh, 
Um, I forget what. Oh, uh, dedicate your victory to anybody because you have a promoter. I would like to. Uh... You have to dedicate it to. If you want to give them a wealth, you have to dedicate it to a corporation. Ah, uh, okay. One that you know. Uh, I don't think that anyone has publicly backed Hunter, so I don't think he has anyone to, uh... Okay. Um, actually, no, he does. He does, actually. Uh, yes, I'd like to dedicate my victory to, uh, to Ice Dust and his, <laughs> uh, his great book where, where I'm on the cover of issue two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Perfect. Um, yeah. There's no roll to make. Just making a note here. After the battle, we'll see how that works out for you. <laughs> Ice dust. Uh... Anything else you want to do? Uh, no, that is, that is it. Okay. Will... you versus Sir Marco San Rossi. Uh, let's talk about your intro sequence. Okay. Uh, Hunter does his usual pre-match ride out with his band. Uh, gets out on the field, grabs a mic. I am Hunter McGregor, and today I will show my opponent the true power of the Northland Highlanders. Okay. So your opponent comes out in uh, ferrofibrous chainmail. Because of the incredible difficulty in working with this material, each hand, you know, hand delivered ring must have taken an incredible amount of time to craft and shape. So he's probably mm -hmm. walking around with like several hundred thousand C bills worth of equipment. Um, and he draws his sword as he walks out in the arena. All the light go black. And it's just the desert sands around him and a single helicopter spotlight as he holds his sword edge towards the camera and says, I am Sir Marco Saint Rossi. And I am here to do battle in the name of God and before all of you. I am a knight, and in this day and age, perhaps more than ever, that means something. It still means something. I ride against my opponent with his armor and steed and weapon all in one, and he is stronger than me, but I had defeated men who are stronger than me before. I cannot say that I will win, but I can say that I will do my best and I will do my duty, as only a knight can. I dedicate my match to you, to all of you, because we are all one people, and to General Alexander Kerensky. He awaits us in paradise and will lead us there. And he, you know, does like a flashy shwee. And it looks great when the light flashes off of the sword. Then he helicopter blades it and shink. Um, his mech walks forward and his Zeus has been repainted to uh, more strongly look like a knight, right? Like it looks as if it is made out of plate mail based on the way the painting has shaped it. Mm hmm So... Uh, as he finishes climbing up to his cockpit, he opens a private communications with you. Okay. Uh, Hunter McGregor, yes? Yes. Win or lose, I wish for you to pass along a message to, uh, to your Seth. And what's that message? I wish to speak with him. The people of the One Star Faith and the people who are the children of Kerensky are not so different. I believe that we can come to a mutual understanding together. Well, I, 
I'll let him know. Uh, but he and I, you know, we're not exactly on the best. I, you know, I've got a question. If I was to talk to with you after the battle, can I, you give me some of that stuff that I smoke that I can see Alexander Kerensky too? Is that how this works? Are you intentionally aggravating him? Yes. Okay, all right. So, just know that there will be consequences for this action, but he is also as if he has taken a head hit because he's now uh, incensed and angered beyond uh, a normal person's capacity for rage. <laughs> a, so he says, Sir, you direly insult me. This is dishonorable, and it is not worthy of you. But to come after my entire religion... Unbelievable. I had heard that you were a terrible person, but I believed better of you. I can see that the rumors were correct. Yeah, I think uh, Hunter smirks to himself and cuts the comms. Okay, yeah. So over over a loudspeaker from his mech, so he makes sure it gets caught up by, you know, the people watching. He says, I have no choice now. It is not that... I must seek victory. It is that I have to. To remind Hunter McGregor of humility. For he is a vile man. Just remember, Hunter literally just went to Elizabeth and said he would stop causing controversy. Well, I, 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 I specifically did not make a, con a public controversial statement. I know, but this guy just said you insulted his religion, so... Yeah, well... He can he can say what he wants, but <clears throat> okay. Let's roll initiative. Gotta get my lear and dice. Four, five, get wrecked. Okay. I choose to defend long ways, and I will come in from the right, so that you must come in from the west. I uh, Gleema will enter through the western gates. Perfect. <laughs> Keeping the meme alive for <laughs> over two years. Uh, what do you know? Why not? That seems like a good place to enter. Sure. That's my big spoon. Sure voice. Uh, I'm going here. Okay. All right. Let's roll again. Nine. Seven. Please. Make your move. Okay. Oh shit, this just canceled this guy's SPA. <laughs> 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 You're a real son of a bitch. I will jump to here. Uh, okay. Let me get my jumpy die. Why is it not letting me? Set the face. I mean, I don't think it's going to matter, but. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to matter, but he runs forward as well, charging into battle to eagerly face you. Let's roll again. Nine. Ten. Roll. Eleven. Six. What's that? It's time to remember to do the ticker this time? This is a Donegal Broadcasting Company news alert. I keep meaning to ask you, do you save those somewhere? Nope. Okay. 
I was going to put them in the in the lore keep, but I guess we'll have to watch the episodes to do that. Just get big screen to go rewatch every single one. Huh. Interesting. All right, he doesn't move. Twenty-one hexes. I thought it was twenty-two, but I'll I will believe you. Yeah, we can double check. It will make a difference. In twenty twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. Uh... All right, so I'm gonna fire LRM 15s. I'm gonna fire a Goss rifle into LRM 15s. I don't okay. think you have anything you can shoot, right? I have my Goss rifle. Oh, well, you're actually shooting first, so go ahead. Uh, okay, if so you want to, start I mean, at, I'm not gonna make you start at four because of head injury. Uh, one for jumping jack is five, and long range is nine. Wow. Just enough. Uh, we're on the front, so five is right leg for 15. Okay. Gauss rifle, two LRM 15s. Uh, Gauss is a miss. 15 is a miss. And a 15 is a miss. You do, however, have a whole lot of ammunition headed in your general direction. Okay. Uh, let's see. And I don't build any significant amount of heat. Ten. Seven. Make your move. Uh, did the des desert doesn't do anything, right? Nope. And okay. it's not hot enough for nor sandstormy enough to make a big difference today. Okay. One, two, three. I don't move. Okay. I'm going to fire uh, Goss and ER Large. Uh, we're at 19 hexes, so it should still be at nines for both of them. Sure. Goss hits in the 11 uh, left arm for 15. Left arm for 15. Left arm for 15. Okay. He is going to fire Goss. Uh, uh, I've got my ER large still. Yep, 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 yep. Which misses. Yeah, Goss, ER. Oh, would have been a headshot. Large and two LRM 15s. Oh, wait a No, no. Go ahead. I was I was trying Go to think ahead. No, no, no. It's uh, I've got to hit a nine. No. Very well. Goss first. That is a miss. Here, large laser misses. And both LRM fifteens miss. Yeah, it's rough. 
And uh, this is a pretty uninteresting battle to the people. I mean, you guys are wailing away at long range and haven't hit anything yet mm. that much. But there are a lot of your fans here waiting for you to kill this guy. Excellent. Yeah, he's looking... You know, he's got a pretty couple of places where uh, the armor is pretty dented. No, like actually kill him. Twelve. Seven. Okay. Uh... Hunter McGregor makes another three point three hex two evasion jump. <laughs> uh the only question was whether honestly oh no that wouldn't yeah that's what I'm gonna do one two three I was thinking about running, but to get a little closer, but I wouldn't, I, because I'd have to spend two to go down, I wouldn't get enough evasion. Okay. This is going to be your move, though? That is my move, yes. Okay. Dice is down. Hexes, huh? Does that bring any of your other weapons into play? No, no. but it does mean uh, goss medium rifle. range for the Goss. Yeah. Okay, he does a move. All right. Uh, goss at seven, ER large at nine. Goss hits center torso for 15. Okay. ER large misses. Goss ER LRM LRM. Miss. ER is a hit. Center torso. Uh, how much? Eight. LRMs are a miss as well. No heat. I want to do a side story that is just the story of Hunter McGregor's band. <laughs> Seven. Eleven. Okay, you stand still. I jump to here and now have partial cover. Sure. You're also closer. I am closer. Well. Okay, that's medium range for just about everything. Go ahead and Alpha do it. Alpha strike again. Oh, rifle, double ones. ER hits left torso. Left torso for eight. Yep. That brilliant red beam costs way too much heat for what it does. Uh, LRM's finally hit. Nine on a 15 is 12 missiles. First five hit right arm. Right arm for five. Got it. Left arm for five. Left arm. Got it. Two left arm. Oh, sorry. Two left arm. Nope. Five oh, and two. Five, five and two. Okay. 
The second pack also hits. Nine missiles hit. Five to left arm. Five to left arm. Four to the left leg. Four to left leg. And that should be enough to force a piling skill check. Seems legit. Uh, eight and nine is... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Dumping out the missiles. Finally hit. Okay, you're up. What do you okay. want to do? I'm going to fire Goss and ER large. We're at 12, so everything should be at 7s. Uh, that, sorry, the left leg hit didn't actually hit you because it hit the thing in front of you. Oh, right, right, right. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Goss hits center torso 15. Mm. Just gave me the sevens, man. <laughs> yeah, I did. It's internal. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> okay. And your large just misses. Okay. All right. Uh, he builds another point of heat. I build no heat. Yeah, that's why you're not scary. Um, that your TSM. There. Ooh, not afraid. Ooh, CT is wide open. It is. Seven. Six. Okay. I don't know what I want to do. I was hoping you were going to go first. Really? Should uh, be nine, right? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing I've been doing and uh, aim for sevens. Goss hits sixes right torso for 15. Okay. ER large hits headshots. Eight damage. Okay. That leaves him one left, right? Yep. Okay. Still conscious. Barely. He holds it together. He barely holds it together, sir. to take another life in battle. I would accept your surrender. You, okay. I just, you literally went into this match and intentionally pissed him oh, off. Oh, I know. Yeah, okay. But... All right. Uh... He's alpha striking again. Uh, 15 to the right arm. Sorry, one second. Fifteen right arm. Eight center torso. Eight center torso. LRM fifteen one misses. LRM fifteen two is a hit. Twelve missiles hit. First five hit left arm. 
left arm. Uh, next five will hit center torso through armor critical, and I'm going to use an edge point to reroll the critical dice. Oh boy. That is now critical. As of course it is. Tell me more about the curse, Hunter McGregor. Tell me more about the curse. Five, six is a medium pulse laser. That's probably the best thing that could have happened to me. <laughs> best thing would have been to not get crit, because now your repair well, costs are skyrocketing. Yes, but if I had to take a CT through armor critical... Uh, I think that was the second five? That was the second five, yes. And then the last two are right torso. Right torso. Now, how are it. you looking? I've been hitting that left arm a lot, but it seems like it's still got a lot of armor. Interesting. Okay. I build one more point of heat. I... Yeah, at the end of the round, he uh, he says, I cannot back down. You have insulted my religion. You have insulted my people. You are a vile and hateful man. Hunter McGregor, even if I were to die here today, I would do so in service to humanity and the people by attempting to eliminate you from this bracket, this game's world, and from the minds of the people. You are clearly an agent of the devil. Just remember, I gave you this chance. Okay. You need to make a roll not to fall down, and I think he does too. Eleven, I'm good. He's good as well. Seven. Also seven. Hitting me with the sevens again, Hunter McGregor. Okay. Seven. Eight. Okay. Um... He walks backward one step. What will you do, O Hunter McGregor? What will you do, O Hunter McGregor? What will you do, O Hunter McGregor? All right, one. Let me just make sure I'm measuring this right. Oops, Go ahead and I'm sorry, I thought I was on the measury tool. Mech repair so far. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. So it would be eight to here. No, that's seven. That's seven? Yeah. Okay. Yep, seven. That one's seven, this one's seven, and this one's eight. Uh this this one so this one would be eight. That's oh, all right. This right here is seven. That is also seven. Well, you're... Look, man, it's math. I know. I don't, I don't, well, it's geometry. I don't, yeah. I don't make the rules. You can speak to Euclidean guy. Euclid, I suppose. One. Two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> All right. Uh,
Actually, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's nine. Okay, so I want to move one more. Mm -hmm. Jump of one. That's eight hexes. You know you don't get the defensive bonus because he's above you. Correct. But I didn't want to close to short range. Okay. Yep, just just making sure we all have I, an I did not want to close to short range without bringing the rest of my weapons into play, which happens at six. Okay, he's doing Goss, ER, LRM, RLRM. Nope, that Goss has been a total failure so far. I'm barely even tracking ammo for him. Uh, well, that finally hit, and that's going to be 15 missiles. Uh, left leg for five. Left leg five. Center torso five. Center torso five. Left torso five. Left torso five. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, sevens for Goss and ER. Goss finally misses. ER hits eight damage center torso. No crits. Ah, that's terrible for you. I know. Okay. That's it. So I got. Builds one more heat. It's now at five heat. Actually, it's at six heat. Seven for nets. My initiative is four. Show me your moves. Uh, his move is to not move. Okay. Uh, one, two. This guy's literally being propped up by pure and utter hatred. One, two, three, four. This should be five, yeah? Yep, I agree. And this will be a jump of two. Okay, he's alpha striking. Uh, Goss Rifle Center Torso. Fire 15. Still ER have armor. Misses. LRM misses. LRM misses. Oh boy. That is unfortunate that I no longer have edge. <laughs> <laughs> well. Okay. Uh, all right, I have, I am going to fire all of my remaining weapons, uh, so. Even the small laser? Uh, actually not the small laser, you're right. Uh, so, Gauss, ER, and three medium lasers. And you have to hope that you win, because the Gauss Rifle to your center torso next turn could be crippling. It's very true. Uh, <clears throat> so All you have to do is get his weak, fragile body to explode right now. <laughs> uh, Gauss and ER are at fives. Pulses are at long range, but they're pulses, so they're at sevens. Uh, Goss, ER, medium pulse, medium pulse, medium pulse. Here we go. Goss hits location four, right arm for 15. Okay. Totally fresh. 
course. ER hits left uh eight is left torso for eight. Also completely unhit. Of course it is. I wanna hear this shit from you. Medium pulse one hits center torso with the crits. Okay. Roll your dice. Uh, six damage center torso and a crits. Yeah, roll it. Five five. Roll again. Six four. Okay. Fusion, Fusion engine. engine. That's gonna cause you some heat problems. Yes, it is. Uh second medium pulse hits uh in the right torso for six. Okay. Third medium pulse. That's a miss. Anything else? Uh, that is everything. The double six is the stay standing rule. <laughs> True leer and power. An, an assault mech getting knocked over as if um, at the end of the round he shuts down and surrenders okay Hunter is there anything you want to do before you head to the uh, post match interview uh, no I think Hunter is going to uh, just accept the uh, surrender as graciously as uh someone who told off their opponent at the beginning of the match can and uh and head to the uh head to the interview at the interview um <clears throat> william is just like hunter i'd like to get a comment from you very quickly we have an understanding here from several uh observers that litigious uh, proceedings are already being filed against you. Apparently, you mocked your opponent over his religion. Is this true? Maybe it was just a, a misunderstanding on my part. I what did you we say to him? Just having a friendly jibe at the beginning. And and what did you say exactly, Hunter? Well, he had uh, he had wanted me to give a notice to Seth, so I thought he was needling me. He knows that you know Seth and I aren't on speaking terms, so I made a what I thought was a funny jibe back at him. I thought we were just joshing each other. And you said what exactly? Now, well, just I'm know, sorry. If I am not if a lawyer. involved, then uh, then under under advice of my own counsel, I'm not going to say anything in public. So you're saying it could have been bad enough that lawyers need to be involved? Uh, you're the one that told me lawyers are involved, and my stable lawyer has flat out said that any time lawyers are involved, I'm supposed to shut my mouth. Is there anything you'd like to add, Hunter McGregor, after this battle? Uh, it was a it was a good fight. Uh, I I did uh, warn our opponent after that headshot that I didn't want to kill him, and I'm I'm glad that it didn't come to that. Okay. All right. Anything you want to do post match? So you'll be getting a uh, guaranteed victory. So you get one experience, and then you get the option of another experience or glory. Let's see here. How am I doing for experience? Uh, I am going to... I'm going to take the glory. Hunter hasn't had glory in a while. He tends to fight mechs that can incapacitate his head pretty quickly. Okay. Uh, and then I am going to uh, spend the week relaxing so that I bring myself down to uh, down to three stress. All right. You get a message from Zuri indicating that uh, a win is a win is a win, but maybe next time don't cause so many problems. Uh, and don't freeze up in the interview. 
and just reminds you that uh, you are friends with Seth. And then it, it should, then a second time, underlined and bolded, it says, "You are friends with Seth." <laughs> Okay, anything else? Uh I think uh I think Hunter is going to want to uh try to have some uh some some good press out there. Yeah, that that's uh -oh. unlikely. <laughs> um Hunter's kind of, you know, he's 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 looking around all his, you know, other friends. You cut out to me. Did your microphone suddenly die? I don't think nope, so. Can back. you hear me now? Yep. Okay. That was weird. I don't know. Mm, the internet gods. Yeah. Um Hunter would uh would like to uh try to uh raise some some charity money for the uh northwind highlanders uh war orphans fund okay oh boy can't wait to see how this goes down <laughs> um i assume that what you would like to do is expand your media influence yes yes that is the move i'm trying to make okay roll 2d6 plus corporate let me just double check which my yep uh okay corporate is a zero great that's a nine okay you get what you want, but it costs you something you have, or otherwise does not go exactly as intended. How um, can we turn this into a debacle for you? <laughs> Sorry, debacle is a terrible term. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I feel like you're losing market before, share. Before, before the... we take this nine. Oh, are you thinking edge? Can I reroll just one die with edge? No. Okay. And we don't and we don't play under the rule where you can use edge to just give yourself a plus one. Nope. Okay. Then all right, then I'm not gonna welcome I'm to not gonna new, try to edge a nine to welcome get it. To not Mech Warrior Destiny, which is what we're playing. Yeah, <laughs> I just you know. <laughs> well we we we've we've kept a couple parts of Destiny. Yeah, the parts that allow me to play fast and loose. Right. Um Okay. Uh, I think that the thing it costs Hunter is that the a few it it's going to ruffle some Highlander feathers that we've got this guy that we don't really like that we've had to let back in but we were hoping he would just shut the hell up and now he's uh doing a doing a charity event okay. for one of our charities all right so okay. th they they reluctantly i mean they accept the money because it's charity money but they're kind of pissy at at hunter still as opposed to letting him ingratiate himself more okay works for me anything else you want to do uh that is everything i've got for today the end credits i think, I think scene, i've done a, i think i've done a lot <laughs> the end credit scene is uh yori from amos's storyline mm -hmm. looking at a tablet and going so our contact is on the inside more of our people and they've made contact with Hunter McGregor. Excellent. Don't worry, Father. Soon everything will be in hand. We're going to keep Hunter close. Very close. He says. Dun, dun, dun. As the scene goes, you know, no, like the lights dim down until it's pure blackness. But as that happens, 
It's like a balalaika playing the Godfather theme. <laughs> okay. That's it. Nice work. Hunter McGregor, a.k.a. Gleemo. Why, thank you. Arthur Perkins, a.k.a. Arthur AP Perkins. Gaming Real. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, audience, have a good afternoon, I suppose. In investors, uh, stable champion votes are still going. Please get your votes in. I suppose that's true. For me, though, usually someone's won by the end of the... But we've never had a vote upset after the first day. Some people remain cagey, but uh, I look at the long-term statistics. It was pretty damn close the last time I looked at it. It didn't change, though. It didn't change. Okay. All right. 